Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay notified of more epic Gamefront content. Hello everyone, it's Danny here for Gamefront.com and today we're playing Planet Zoo. I've already started on the career mode but I decided to scrap that video because it was all just boring tutorial stuff. There's another option called Franchise. Normally I would do a sandbox a bit like with Planet Coaster and uh, try and try and just build my own thing but that seems to be greyed out. This is uh, the beta version, it's not actually released yet. Um, so we'll have a look at this franchise and see what this is instead. So I'm going to create the uh, Zoo Front franchise I am ready and we'll see what this is about hopefully this is a bit more like um, a bit more like a, a free build kind of thing because the um, the career mode's fine but it was it was just all tutorial and, and, and non, not much fun so okay cool so uh, New Zoo we've got different biomes we can pick I think the only one available at the moment is uh, grassland but uh, in the game it looks like it's gonna have desert zoo uh, tropical temperate uh, Tiger? I don't know how you pronounce that. Tundra. Anyway, grassland for us. Uh, Asia, I'm guessing, because, uh, you know, only one available to pick. Right, we need to name our zoo. So um, I've already called the franchise zoo front, so we will call this um, Zoo Front Asia, because it's in Asia. That seems logical. Great. Okay, cool. So we're, we're opening with a uh, blank park. That's a bit more what I was hoping for, I think. Okay, so welcome to Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Beta. Go and play the tutorial. Seriously, it's a good idea. I've already done that, kind of, until I got bored of it. Aye, uh, Franchise Mode. You'll be able to build your dream zoo from scratch, adopt animals from a trade center, and then once you've started breeding animals of your own, put them up for adoption by other players. Okay. Uh, cash will be tied, so you'll have to start small and work your way up to the more prestigious animals. Uh, there are two types of currency, cash and conversion credits. I sense microtransactions on the horizon. Hopefully not. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. okay, cool. Um, I've got a rough idea of how to play the game. So let's start by building some paths, I think, because otherwise people won't be able to go anywhere. Um, where, where are the paths? I think architecture signs that is paths on its own thing. Yeah, of course it is. It's just like um actually the interface is pretty much exactly the same as Planet Coaster, which is another game that I really like. Uh is this kind of what I want? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, let's let's move over this way for now. We could branch off in the other direction later. Um I quite like to have some facilities near the beginning of a zoo. So let's have some uh, benches, I guess. You know what, I need to change the camera because I don't like it rotating around a central view. That kind of annoys me. So I'm just gonna go into the settings. You know, hopefully it's the same. Free look mode. I think that's what I want. Cool, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, I just find it easier because I can just look where I want to look and then place down what I want to place down. So let's put some benches down for people to sit on. Just a few. This is my uh, standard planet coaster uh, build method. Start with a path and branch out from there. Put some bins down because people make a mess. Uh, put one there as well. Uh, let's have some soda machines. Oh, is this? Uh, that's just like a soda stand. Now, can we get? Have we got pre builds? Because I don't. I don't really want to like build my own soda stand, but at the same time, I don't want it to just look crap. So, planning to. Yeah, that's better. Let's have something like that. Okay, cool. Um, Let's start off with a uh, a uh, Gulpi returning from Planet Coaster. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, guest facilities. So, oh, Chief Beef. Oh, I do enjoy a good Chief Beef. Um, food shop. So, yeah, I'm just making some uh, general. Uh, stalls and stands and things at the moment. 
just want to kind of make that look neat and even. Put that in there, I think. Cool. Uh, what else have we got? Um, yeah, let's put a shop on the other side. We can stick that down here. Mm, I feel like that may make things a bit too claustrophobic, so actually I think I'll stick it there. And then I will branch the path to it in a artsy kind of way. Is that what we can do? Oh, don't know how I feel like that actually. Over them. Hmm. 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 No, not keen on that. Also, I feel like I'm way up in the sky. That's not helpful. Can I just move that a little bit? Uh, no, you know what, I don't like that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this path. I think what we will do is have all the facilities on one side, potentially. So let's make a path going over here for reasons. I like to put paths down first. I don't know why. I just find it helps me sort of imagine what would be along them. So. And then we'll build our shop again, but this time we'll have it. Oh, toilets, yeah, we do need those actually. Yeah, we'll put some toilets there. Um, what else have we got? Don't need the help, thank you. Uh, I've got my large toilet block. Uh, just need a shop. Uh, yeah, this is a bit better. So actually, we can take that around this way and have the shop there. If that looks right. Yeah, that'll do. Um, well, so we got a uh, merchandise shop. That sounds like a plan. Um, we'll put that. Uh, where can we have the merch shop? Let's put that over here, shall we? Um, Turn that around. Put that there. Okie dokie. That's the uh, entrance to our park, I guess. I think we might want to decorate it a little bit with some trees and things because it looks a bit it's a bit barren at the moment. So let's have, a, let's have some trees in between the stalls, I guess, and smaller trees there. Ooh, that's a big tree. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Um, what else can we do? I like to look at it from guest level because that's, you know, where it kind of matters. That's where they're going to be seeing it from. So what have we got here? Yeah, that's kind of fits in with the landscape, isn't it? I quite like that. And uh, maybe we'll just put some over here as well. Don't want that big tree. Have we got some? Um, we've got some fencing that we can put around. Or do we? Do we need fencing? I'm not sure. I'll do for now. What else have we got? Have we got any st oh, rocks that might help? Surely we've got something a bit bigger than that. Come on now. Sure, big rock. There we go. I'll just decorate the place a little bit. We'll get on to the animals in a second, don't worry, I promise. Uh, right. Oh, so we've got a... Oh, right, okay. Gardening and plants and things, not too interested in that. Um, do we have any statues and things we can put down, I wonder? Uh, bins, benches, transport rides, speakers, small animal. Let's have an animal exhibit, shall we? I think we need to... I think we need to get into the meat and gravy of Planet Zoo right now. Exhibit. Let's have an exhibit. What's oh oh? Is this like um? 
I see what this is. This is like the uh, little animal things that you get in zoos. The little animal things that you get in zoos. That makes no sense, does it? Well, let's pong that down there. And maybe we'll put another one in there. I don't know if, is that right? They just kind of look like boxes to me then. How odd. Yeah, I don't know what they are. Exhibit. Let's get rid of those, I don't know what they're for. Let's build an anim a habitat. That's what we want. Okay, what kind of habitats can we build? Um, or do I, well, actually, how do I build an habitat? Maybe I should have done the tutorial. I think I need to just fence in first of all, don't I? So, uh, enrichment barriers, that's what I need to do. So if I get, what do I want? What's cheapest? Uh, 100, 200, zero. Define the perimeter of a habitat where a barrier isn't needed, e.g. a river, for animals that can't swim. Okay, cool. Uh, chain link fence. Let's do, let's do, no, corrugated looks horrible. Do I stump up for the red brick? Or do I just cheap out wood logs? Let's do wood logs. Okay, that'll fit in with the aesthetic of the place. Let's do our first habitat here, so we can hide the back of the shop, which we don't really want to see. So basically, I think what we'll do is we'll just create an enclosure like this. I don't want to go too far off the path. Awesome. And does that connect back up there? Yes, it does. Lovely. So that's our first enclosure. Now I think I want to put some glass in for some parts of it because if I don't, oh I need a gate as well apparently because the zookeeper's going to get in and out without a gate. So we'll put that kind of out of the way, shall we? Uh, well, I guess it's going to have to be there, isn't it? Okay. And I'm sure there was a way of getting a a glass, um, there it is, glass sweep. So we can replace that panel with glass. And maybe that one, maybe that one. If you will let me, probably gonna carry on over here as well. Is that working? I think it is. Awesome, so there we go. So that's now all visible. And what I want to do now is... Has that worked? Glass, yep, okay, cool. I now need to construct the habitat, I guess. So what are we going to put in here? I'm not sure, but I'm guessing they're going to need a large food bowl for the benefit of food. Also, I'm probably just going to change the time of day in a second because it's going to be a bit difficult doing this at night. Can I set the time of day? I can. Ooh, that's bright. That looks nice. There we go. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we want a food bowl down. Gonna need some water, I think. We've got a yeah, water bowl. There we go. Um, what else have we got? Small heater, not sure if we need any of that stuff. We've got a shelter in. I don't know what I'm actually building a habitat for here at the moment. That probably would, actually that's way too big. Um, oh boy, is this just a tiny little enclosure that probably shouldn't have that's screaming monkeys to me, so I'm gonna put some monkeys in here, I think. So this seems like uh, good fun. Keep it there, away from the fence so they can't get out. Uh, climbing logs, sure. And put some of them in. Uh, what have we got here? Climbing frame. 
cool. I like it. Uh, habitat bedding. I don't know what monkeys do for sleep, if I'm honest. But I'll uh, stick some of this down, I guess. Uh, hey, hey, hey. How we can buy monkeys? I don't even know if we can. Don't even know what kind of monkeys. I don't know what I'm doing. I am not qualified to be a zookeeper. But, you know, that kind of looks like a zoo uh, enclosure, doesn't it? Is that glass or is that just... There's nothing here now and everything's going to go wrong. I'm not sure. We will soon find out. Okay. Beds and shelters. The smallest shelter is way too big. I oh, know, that's all right, actually. Let's put that here. I think so that it's... Yeah, all right, cool. Right, we want some animals in it now, don't we? So where do we get those from, I wonder? Uh, oh, enrichment items. Do we need some of them? What are those? Oh, what are those in them in? Uh, heaters and coolers. I'm not sure about that. And I don't know if I need... Uh, I don't know. Oh, let's just put everything in. I don't want to kill the animals when we first go. Food cage. That looks ominous. Sweet. Right. Now we want some animals. So I think for that, I want to quit this and I would click on animal trading but it won't let me oh hang on is this one animals there we go I haven't got any uh, hmm. oh I need staff <laughs> it does help I suppose to have people working in the zoo right what do we need suppose we'll need one caretaker. You can go there. Uh, what else do we need? We do need a zookeeper. Yep. Yeah. We need... Probably need a mechanic. Even though I don't have any rides. Security man to stop people from stealing all the monkeys. Our vending places probably do need vendors. So I need one, two, three, four vendors. And finally... A veterinarian to keep the animals alive. Awesome. Right, I think that's everything I need. Staff-wise, for now. Uh, hmm. Oh, I know why. I need to build some other kinds of buildings before I can get animals. I need a certain facility. So, I need a zookeeping hut. Let's put that. I'm supposed to keep these out of the way, apparently. So let's put it over here. Let's put it over here. No, not in the floor. It's not good to me in the floor. See, this camera's better, but it's still got its problems. What is happening here? Why? What is. That's gone wrong. Let's try that again. <laughs> Oh my days. Right. Right. Where's my where's my mouse cursor? Hello. Okay. I can't I don't have a free mouse anymore. This is oh there we go. Uh right, facilities. I needed a zoo. Oh, well, I suppose I need all this stuff, actually. Let's get this out of the way. So, uh, a veterinarian place we need. I guess this path can be where all the staff and facility stuff is, so guests wouldn't really come down this way. So, uh, is that the right way? Oh, no, it's this way. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, we'll have the vets there. We'll have quarantine next door. Which makes no sense, but sure. We'll have a research centre. We'll have a workshop. Don't know what that does, but why not? And we'll have... Oh yeah, trade center. So yeah, we we need the trade center because the trade center is where all the um, 
is how you can buy animals. They're kind of kept in the trade center until they're ready, until the habitat is ready. So I'm doing this completely in the wrong order. And finally, we need a keeper's hut for this particular uh, enclosure. So I can go there. Just need to connect all this up with paths, I think. Whoa, why is it in the air? Ah, there we go. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you can connect up there in a really haphazard manner. And so can you. And so can you. Wonderfully um, designed <laughs> path structure there. But it will do the job. Now I can do animal trading and go to the animal market where we can buy animals of various types, I think. So animals that, well, there's a lot of American buffaloes on the market at the moment. Probably not appropriate for the habitat I've built. I was thinking monkeys. So I want some kind of monkeys or, or uh, other ape-like creatures. Um, not giant tortoise. Can I filter this by species? I can. What have we got here? Lions, wolves, springbok, snow leopard, antelope, a ring-tailed lemur, a re re reticulated giraffe. I don't know what that means. I am not an expert on zoo animals. Mandrill, rhinoceros. Why is he not monkeys? You'd think they'd be monkeys. Interesting. I bet there's going to be an entire monkey DLC coming at some point, isn't it? Right, I think a good backup option would be the ring-tailed lemur because that's kind of... seems like it would fit into the environment that we've built completely inappropriately. So we'll adopt a couple of random ring-tailed lemurs. I don't know if there's any logic to this. I guess you want a mix of male and female, don't you? So we'll have... Failed. I cannot afford this animal. I'm bankrupt already, folks. I have five grand left in the bank. I think we need to open the zoo and try and make some money. Oh, right. Now, if I recall... Oh, the other thing I need to do is apparently you need to put generators down all over the place because if you don't, then there will be no power to your zoo keeping huts and things. So I think that's what I needed. Not 100% on that. This zoo isn't going well, is it? Let's be honest. What? No, go away. I think I can now click on this enclosure. And place my winter lemurs inside. At least I'm hoping so. That was the plan. I need to get rid of this, I think. However, it's that. No. There we go. No, that's the fence. What am I doing? I don't know anymore. Have <sighs> I done the fence right? It doesn't look like there's any glass there, does it? Let's double check. Uh, where's fencing? Where is fencing? Barriers. Uh, walls. Glass. I'm, I'm sure that's what that is, isn't it? I think that's right. I am a bit confused right now. How do I put my animals into the... Ah, hang on. Animal storage. None. Rewards, no. Animal market. What's this? The zoo is low on cash. The zoo has run out of money. The zoo doesn't know what it's doing, that's why. Uh, damn, come on now. There was a way of doing this. Animals. 
habitats, habitat one. There we go. Can I put some uh, animals in it? Did I actually? I've not even bought a single animal, have I? They were all uh, they were all out of my price range, weren't they? Awesome. How checking an egg question? How does a zoo become a zoo if it can't afford to buy the animals to go into the zoo? Right, we've got four grand. Right. We need to buy something that's less than that. And I'm guessing the ringtail lemurs were more than that. Let's try again. Ringtail lemur. Come on. Yeah, I was trying to, but they were like, oh no. Oh no, they're all affordable. Why can't I adopt that? I can't afford to adopt this animal. But I've got $3,000 in the bank. Okay, sure, it's going down quickly. But this was only 500 Oh, this one's in dollars. So I can adopt that one. Ah, why has it got two different currencies? I don't know. Something says microtransactions in the back of my head. I could be wrong. Right, you know what? We've got one animal, I think. We need to get this zoo up and running. So... How do I... How do I put my lemur in my cage? That is a sentence I never thought I would say. Right, ringtail lemur. How do I put this in... In the habitat, I'm not sure. Do I click on the habitat? Oh, there we go. Habitat one. This habitat is empty. I know. I want to put some animals in it. It's in the trade center. Move to habitat one. Delivery scheduled. We're on the way. We're, the zoo is up and running, everybody. The zoo is running out of money quickly, but we're getting there. Right, while we're at it, let's put the prices right up on Looney Balloons and all the other wonderful uh, facilities that we have. And then we can charge people an extortionate sum of money to come and see our one lemur. That seems like a logical plan. Oh, I know what I need. Um, donation box. Apparently that's important. I believe it means people will give me some money to see the... Uh, See the old lemur in its natural habitat. Let's just have donation boxes everywhere. Donations, please. Thank you. As a, I figure the more donation boxes you put down, the more likely people are to just give you money. Seems like a logical uh, solution. Oh, I can see things going on over here. The zookeeper has been inside. And do we have... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have our one solitary ring-tailed lemur on its own, on its little bed here. Uh, now, apparently, we can click on the animal to see how happy it is and its welfare. Its welfare is pretty poor. Its habitat is shite, um, but it's got plenty of good nutrition, um, and for some reason, it's socially high, even though it's completely on its own. But look, he seems happy enough. He's running up and up his little thing and and whatever. I think that's fine. I think I think I'm just flying around like an idiot. I think it's fine. Let's see if we can get him a friend. I think that's what he needs right now. Um, so we go to the animal market. Filter it down again to um, ringtail lima. I feel like for this first attraction to be successful in any way. It will need more than just one. But I can't buy these ones because, yeah, I need leaves. And I don't know what... I don't know where leaves come from. How do I acquire leaves? Game, please explain this to me. Why do you have two forms of currency? <sighs> it's all going wrong, isn't it? Look, people are here. Give me money. Money, please, people, please. Look. Look, there's a lemur. He's over there. Just put money in the tub. Money in the tub. Money in the tub. Oh, 
You know what? You trap there until you put money in the tub. In fact, you all you all need to just keep repeatedly putting cash into the bucket. Otherwise, you will never ever be allowed to leave ever again. I hope that is clear. What? My... I only have one. Where is it? What do you mean it's escaped? Oh. He's making a run for it. Let's let's just see where he goes. There is a camera view for the uh, for the young chap, I believe. Right here we go. He's on the run. People are just running all over him. He doesn't seem to care. He's not bothered. He's heading past Looney Balloons, the shopkeeper of which looks particularly pleased today. Oh, he's on the run again. He's off. Everyone's running for him. Is he going to escape completely from the zoo? Is he just going to leave and? and go f for a new life in New York where he's going to become uh, a merchant banker or something like that or is he just going to return back to his habitat like a good little ring-tailed lemur is he just going to run into the toilet? he's dead awesome right so that was a good uh, start to to our uh, zoo I think he's been captured and returned back to his enclosure. How did he get out? That's what I don't understand. I am guessing that he can climb and my placing things like this all over the place near to the fence is probably not conducive to keeping the ringtail lemur inside of his habitat. Now that's, oh, he's escaped again. You can't, you can't contain the guy. Is that, is that just because there's no fence? I don't know. I'll be honest. Without having unlimited money, this isn't going well. I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, what, what are you doing? Are you protesting against my one ring-tailed lemur, which... You are, aren't you? I have managed to create a zoo which, apart from, what the, how are people getting in and out of here? What is going on? Right, so apart from uh, having just one animal which constantly keeps escaping, I've somehow managed to create a riot, lose all of my money, I'm literally on the verge of bankruptcy, these guys are now protesting against the lines and stuff that I don't even have. Okay, franchise mode isn't going well. I think what we'll do is we'll um, we'll we'll uh, exit to the main menu there because because that hasn't gone well. What I will do is I'll continue with my career mode, which I did a save game for, which is mostly after the tutorial they'd finished, so you can actually see what the game should be like when you're not playing like a complete and utter moron, like I am right now. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I think I can go on to career. Resume. Now this guy, this um, Goodwin bloke, he's done quite a good job on his zoo. Um, it actually has animals in it. It's been properly laid out. You know, it's quite impressive. Nothing like the um, absolute cluster of a, of a zoo I just tried to create. Okay, so this is uh, the um, career mode. And basically, I need to build a habitat right now. I'm just going to show you the place really quickly because it's much more impressive than mine. Let me just change the camera again that quickly. I think what we need to do is when um, when when the full game is released and we have a sandbox mode, that'll be a lot better for me. I do enjoy a good sandbox mode because you can just build crazy things. But for now, we'll just have a look around uh, this, this suit. It's quite nice, actually. It's kind of got this... Uh, Greek Roman vibe about it, uh, pools and stuff, nice gardens and uh, everything like that. You've got various different habitats. For example, over here we have um, giant tortoise. Click on them, you can see how happy they, happy they are and stuff. Um, click on the camera and just, just watch him go. 
it's like watching the Kentucky Derby. Um, yeah, so cool, tall toises. And he's got quite a lot of other animals in here as well, I think. What have we got over here? Ah, oh, these are cool. Um, tigers. Oh, the lions. Lions, I think. If not a tiger. That's a female lion, I feel. Having a drink of water from the watering hole. Yeah, so, you know, I quite like the animals and stuff. They're quite well animated. That's a male. He's a big boy, isn't he? He uh, somehow got wet eating his uh, dead horse or whatever the hell. Right, okay. So that's them. One place I did like on here was the uh, uh, rhinoceros enclosure. Or hippos, I should say. Ah, that's pretty cool. Why is it just... Oh, he stood over a water sprinkler. <laughs> that's nice. Over here, there is um, like a giant pool that they swim around in. And uh, a viewing place where people can go down and look underneath. I really like this zoo, actually. It's uh, much more competently made than mine was. Anyway, apparently I now need to create a new enclosure for the West African lion, which we will do over here. Now, I'll try and do this a bit better than I did last time. First things first, fencing. Let's get the fencing correct this time. So let's have... Uh, uh, well, I guess we're having concrete because that's the only choice available to me right now. The reason is because in the tutorial stages, you're very much having your hand held. So I can't build outside of the lines. I can only use the materials it provides me. It's a bit annoying, but I probably should have done this before. I tried to build my own zoo because I have no idea what I'm doing. Tutorials are helpful in that way. Try and see where I'm going. Right, so we'll put the fence down. I don't know how you can do a fence at a right angle. Sure, you should be able to. Oh, do I just... Yeah, that makes sense. No. Can I just connect to it that way? Yeah, that'll do. Kind of wonky, but whatever. Um, steam train! Put that there. And then... Corner post. Go along here. See where I'm going. I'm going to replace a bunch of these, obviously, with the... Oh, it's a bit wonky. Place a bunch of these with the glass panels in a minute when I can. Gonna have to curve that around this way, I think. And finally, I can't connect the final two bits together because the last post is somehow slightly outside of that barrier. There we go. Nice. Okay, cool. That looks like an enclosure to me. Now I want to obviously put some viewing areas down. So I'm thinking there. Probably all of this wall. Because why not? And probably on this side as well. Put that one in, that one in, that one, that one. Is my camera view changed again? Can we do that as glass? Yep, yeah, okay. I haven't been changing them to glass through all of that clicking, so apologies for that. Let's make that all glass. Keep that wonky one there. I will also have some glass barrier over here. Oh, my insistence on using rubbish cameras. Okay, let's make that glass. That glass. That glass. Let's make this one glass as well. I think that'll do. Okie dokie. That's the barriers done. I need the uh, gate dot for the zookeeper. Where can that go? I'm guessing that's going to have to go over here somewhere, actually, isn't it? Um, obstructed? Obstructed by what? Can it go there? Perfect, that'll do. 
Okay, I think that's all I needed there. Facilities, I want to put down donation boxes everywhere because I want money. Um, so if I go to, was it under construction? No, it was in facilities, wasn't it? I think. Where's my donation box? Finance, food stores, this, where is it? Oh. Don't have a lot to choose from right now. What do I do now, Dad? Right, the game seems to want me to just stop there, I think. Is the fence not done? The fence is done, isn't it? It looks okay to me. No lines getting out of that, surely. Is there? What am I missing? Hmm. Do I need to buy the lines? Nope, because there's nothing there. To do does it just want me to I've put all the fencing down no I don't know I'll be honest I'm not an expert at this right now and uh, I don't understand why it's not letting me build the other things that I need to complete my habitat let's just have a look at some other animals I think and then we'll call it a day Okay, um, we've looked at the hippos. They're all, all pretty cool. Uh, what have we got over here? This looks like some sort of a teepee hut thing. What's inside? Nothing. What's over here? Ah, elephants. I like elephants. Gonna have a look at the uh, elephant camera. Here we see a wild elephant captured in captivity. He is running away from the camera, spooked by my David Attenborough impression, which is really terrible. And now he has encountered another dead elephant and is contemplating where his life went wrong. Wait, the elephant is not dead. He is actually just having a snooze and is now getting up, ready for another day in the life of a zoo where nothing happens and nobody knows what they're doing. Lovely, okay, now. Oh, hello. Yeah, the train, can you ride the rides? Can you ride the train? That'd be, that'd be fun. Every time I go to a zoo, I don't go to see the animals. I just go to ride the train. Where's the train? Oh, I love this station. Oh, that's nice. This, this is well thought out, this, this place. Look at all these people waiting to ride the train. Is this the station? It looks like a station. Camera. Yeah, you can ride the train. Choo choo, hello. There are other people on this train with me. How dare they? Um, what's this camera? Interest camera, yes. I find this all very interesting. Can I drive the train? Probably not. Lovely. Right, that's good fun. Even though it's clipping through trees there. What else have we got? Um, a maze. Is that a maze? Not a very good maze. This looks like an enclosure of some kind. What have we got in here? I wonder... Oh, there we go. Ringtail lemurs. In a habitat that was actually designed for ringtail lemurs. Look, they look well happier. I see why why I went wrong. I should have had very high fencing for the ringtail lemurs. That's probably because they can climb very high. Yeah, my habitat was woefully inadequate, wasn't it? So there we go, ringtail lemurs. And that, my friends, is a quick look at uh, Planet Zoo. It's releasing on the fifth of November. And we might revisit it then so we can actually do it on, uh, you know, um, 
what do they call it, creative mode. So you can just build what you want. I, 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 it's like with Planet Coaster. I never did the creative and stuff on that. That was just so I could build my own dream theme park. That's what you want to do. So I kind of want to do the same thing with Planet 2. So yeah, we'll revisit it when the full game's out. But yeah, it's uh, it looks pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to Gamefront because there'll be more content coming this week. James will be back very soon and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.